The Swedish robot system 97, or RBS 97, is a medium-range air defense system designed to protect strategic locations, communities, and critical infrastructure from airborne threats, including hostile aircraft and missile attacks. Capable of operating in all weather conditions, both day and night, it plays a crucial role in Sweden's layered air defense network. The system has proven its operational value through upgrades that have enhanced its capabilities to meet modern warfare challenges. RBS-97 is an adaptation of the American MIM-23 Hawk system, tailored to fit Sweden's specific defense needs. It is an integral component of the Fire Unit 97, which consists of a combat control unit, an illumination radar, and two missile launchers. Each launcher carries three ready-to-fire missiles and can be transported efficiently by land or via the TP-84 transport aircraft, a variant of the C-130 Hercules, ensuring high mobility. The missiles themselves have an effective range of 40 kilometers and are equipped with a powerful 75 kilogram warhead that can be triggered either upon direct impact or at a designated proximity to the target. One of the defining characteristics of the RBS-97 is its ability to function in electronic warfare environments. The system can maintain operational efficiency despite electronic interference, giving it a vital role in Sweden's defence strategy. It features a radar system capable of detecting targets at altitudes of up to 18 kilometres, integrating data from the PS-90 reconnaissance radar to generate a comprehensive aerial picture. This enables rapid target acquisition and engagement, ensuring a swift response to threats. The Swedish Armed Forces utilize the RBS-97 within the Air Defense Regiment, where it forms the backbone of two Air Defense Battalions. Its operational endurance makes it suitable for prolonged defense missions, but it is also capable of rapid deployment for short-term operations. Given Sweden's focus on maintaining a robust and independent defensive capability, the system has been instrumental in safeguarding airspace over key regions. Um, in 2015, the Swedish Defence Material Administration awarded Saab a contract to extend the service life of the RBS-97. The upgrade programme, which ran until 2019, involved enhancements to both hardware and software across the system, including improvements to the high-power illuminating radar, missile launchers and combat command unit. These upgrades were intended to ensure that the system remained viable against evolving airborne threats. However, recognizing the limitations of the system in the face of increasingly sophisticated adversaries, Sweden ultimately decided to replace the RBS-97 with, with the Patriot missile system. Despite this transition, the RBS-97 continued to play an essential role until its gradual phase-out with some systems being donated to Ukraine in 2023 to bolster their air defense capabilities. When compared to regional competitors, the RBS-97 falls within a category of legacy systems that, while once highly effective, have been outpaced by modern advancements in air defense technology. Neighboring countries such as Finland and Norway have invested in systems like the NASAMS, which offers a more network-centric approach with a focus on interoperability with NATO. Meanwhile, Russia's S-300 and S-400 systems significantly outperform the RBS-97 in terms of range, um, engagement envelope and missile technology. However, Sweden's emphasis on mobility, electronic warfare resistance and strategic deployment ensured that the RBS-97 remained a relevant and formidable defence system throughout its service life. A critical aspect of Sweden's air defence doctrine is its commitment to territorial integrity and deterrence. Given its geopolitical position, Sweden has historically maintained a defensive posture rather than an aggressive military stance. The RBS-97 system played a pivotal role in this approach, offering a reliable means of countering aerial threats without requiring the extensive infrastructure of larger air defence networks. The system's mobility ensured that Sweden could quickly reinforce threatened areas, 
a necessity given the vast expanse of Swedish territory and the potential for adversaries to exploit vulnerabilities in the airspace. Sweden's decision to replace the RBS-97 with the Patriot system represents a shift towards greater integration with Western defence infrastructure. The Patriot system, developed by the United States, provides superior range, tracking capability and interoperability with NATO forces. This move aligns with Sweden's broader defence modernisation efforts, which have gained urgency due to rising geopolitical tensions in the Baltic region. The transition also reflects Sweden's increasing cooperation with NATO, despite its traditional stance of military non-alignment. The donation of RBS-97 systems to Ukraine in 2023 underscores Sweden's commitment to supporting allied nations facing direct military threats. Ukraine has faced significant air and missile attacks in recent years, and the addition of RBS-97 units bolstered its ability to defend critical infrastructure and military assets. While the RBS-97 may not match the capabilities of more advanced systems like the Patriot or SAMPT, it still provides a crucial layer of defence, particularly against mid-altitude threats. From a technological perspective, the RBS-97 served as a bridge between older, manually operated air defence systems and modern, networked missile defence solutions. The upgrades provided in the 2015-2019 period helped extend its viability, but ultimately, the rapid advancements in missile technology and aerial threats necessitated its replacement. The system's radar and command units, while effective, could not match the multi-target tracking capabilities of modern ESA radar-equipped platforms. Despite its phase-out, the RBS-97 remains a key part of Sweden's military history, reflecting the country's emphasis on self-reliance and pragmatic defence solutions. The lessons learned from operating and upgrading the system have contributed to Sweden's evolving air defence strategies, ensuring that future systems benefit from the experience gained. In assessing the overall impact of the RBS-97, it is clear that the system played a significant role in Sweden's defence infrastructure for several decades. It provided a cost-effective solution for mid-range air defence and helped deter potential threats through its rapid response capabilities. While newer technologies have overtaken it in terms of effectiveness, its operational history demonstrates the importance of adaptability in military planning. As Sweden continues to modernise its forces, the legacy of the RBS-97 will remain as an example of strategic foresight and commitment to national defence.